They said, Keiko, where the, where the freestyles been at? Like, you been lacking, bro. I got y'all right now. Hold up, hold up. They threw me a pass. Well, Keiko, you trash. Let's try they got ass. That 40 gon' blast. Hold up. Ooh, I'm about to go crazy. Hold up. I ain't even caught it yet. Let me catch it. Let me catch it yet. Hold up. Mm. Bitch, I'm the type. Hitting your girl, she said that I'm right. Yo, bitch, a dyke. Rocking that cradle like Mike. Popping this cat like a sprite. Niggas be dirty. Watching your. Come on, bro. I lost it. Or maybe I should sing to y'all. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I should get deep. This is for all my players that, you know, never got to get in on the field. I know your pain. You know what I'm saying? Coaches, if you're watching this, this is how we feel you when you don't put us in. Look, look, look. Coach, why won't you put me in? Coach. I thought that you were my friend, coach. Now I can't get no scholarship, coach. I quit the team, now I gotta dip, coach. I just wanna play, coach. I swear that I'm not gay, coach. Can you put me on the field, coach? I'm about to get really real. Coach, I come to every practice. <laughs> Coach, I don't never practice less. Coach, I'm catching every ball. <laughs> Coach, I'm cleaning all the stalls. Coach won't let me travel with the team, and I'm tired of the shit. Coach, if you don't let me play, I'm about to smack you. We about to get hit. Coach. If you play with me, I'll expose you on Instagram. Coach, if you play with me, I don't care. I don't give a damn if he's better than me. I want to get on the field because he's not better than me. I'm the best player. You're better than me. Wait, I just said he's better than me, but he is not better than me because I'm the best on the field. Baby, I'm best on the field. I'm about to get it I'm about to keep it real. Coach, why won't you put me in? Coach, I thought that we were friends. Coach, I can't get no scholarship. Coach, I quit, I got a dip. <laughs> Coach, <laughs> that intro was funny as hell, bro. What's good, Certified Gang? It's your boy Keiko, and I'm back with another video, man. Welcome back to More Than Football. I hope each and every one of y'all is having a blessed day, bro. We're on the road to 20K. We're trying to hit 20K before my birthday on August 24th. So keep showing love, bro. I also will be doing a big giveaway once we hit 20K, bro. So just hit that sub button, bro. You will not regret it. With that being said, today's video is kind of similar to what we've been doing lately, bro. I've done a couple five-star versus one-stars, and I also did a D1 recruit versus a D3 recruit. Y'all seem to really enjoy that video, bro, because it really gave y'all insight to show y'all that sometimes a D3 recruit may look the same as a D1 recruit on film, but it's just certain factors that gets the D1 recruit more, more notoriety than the D3. So today we're doing that again, but instead of a D3 recruit, we're doing a D2 recruit. This is D1 recruit versus D2 recruit. Today's position we're going to cover on our D1 recruit versus D2 recruit is our athletes, bro. Athletes, bro, are literally what they say. They be all over the field. Running back, wide receiver, corner, offense, defense. You feel me? Athletes are all over the field, bro, and they're literally the best athletes on the field. So with that being said, let's get right into today's video. Let's meet our D1 recruit, then let's meet our D2 recruit. Compare their films and see what they talking about, bro. With that being said, leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and let's get straight to it, y'all saw. All right, y'all, so today's D1 recruit is Elijah Badger out of Sacramento, California, Folsom High School, a 6'2", 195-pound athlete. He has great size, bro. That's one thing that I'm gonna say off bat without even looking at his film, bro. He definitely got some great size. Um, if I saw that on paper, I'd probably think he probably played like receiver or something like that, but we'll see when we look at his film. 247 Sports has Elijah down as a four-star overall athlete, bruh. The 15th best recruit in California, the third best athlete in the class of 2020, and the 141 best player overall in the class of 2020. He got recruited by a lot of schools, but he ended up signing with the Arizona State Sun Devils, man. The Arizona State Sun Devils, bro, Low-key be slept on sometimes, bro. They got a lot of athletes, including Elijah, bro. But I'm excited to see his film, bro. Let's meet today's D2 recruit. Today's D2 recruit is John Hicks out of Brunswick High School in Lawrenceville, Virginia. He is a 5'4", 153-pound athlete in the class of 2020, bro. Without even looking at his film, I know recruiting-wise what hurt him, bro, was his height, bro. 5'4", 
5 4 153 pounds i think he's the shortest player that i've ever covered not knocking his game or anything like that i'm just being real with y'all bro that's probably what hurt him in recruiting there's not many 5 4 there's not many 5 4 division 1 players out there i know there's champ uh, i think champ fleming for oregon state i want to say i don't know somebody recommended me to him but john was telling me he was kind of all over the field and he ended up committing to and signing to chowin university i've actually heard of this university before i don't know exactly where it's at but uh, during my recruiting process, I sent my school, I sent my film to him before, bro. Chowing University. With that being said, let's see both players' highlights and see how they compare on that field. All right, y'all. Elijah Badger, Folsom High School, bro. A lot of y'all been telling me to go up north, Northern California. Y'all know I'm down here in Southern California, near LA. One day I'm gonna have to make that trip up there. See what y'all talking about up there, bro. Let's see what Elijah was doing up there on that field, bro. Electric athlete. Okay. We gonna see what you talking about. They got you at wide receiver. Like I figured, bro, he got wide receiver side. Like, shit! That boy got them long strides. Oh my gosh! He got it with one hand. Oh my gosh! That was crazy. Oh my gosh! Uh, you just made that look easy. That's not fair. Uh, I can't do all that. That's not fair. Bro, he just... Goodness gracious! Oh my... Don't tell me you still score and you stop! Bro! That's crazy. Yeah, he definitely got a good frame, bro. I mean, he hits that outside. He's like, the set. oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God. What is going on, bro? That's crazy. He got like deceptive speed because he don't look like he's running that fast. But bro is really like, oh my gosh, bro. Yeah, he definitely an athlete. You could definitely tell that. Yeah, look, like, look at him. He's just striding, bro. He not even trying. He not even trying. Dang, buddy got hit back there. He wasn't even trying, bro. Okay, Folsom. Y'all playing on that blue field. That's kind of hard. All right, smooth little slam. Oh, my gosh. Shit, he had a corner reaching, reaching. Damn. Damn, Elijah. I ain't know you was like that, bro. You know what I'm saying? I never heard of Folsom High School, but that's because I'm from Indiana, bro. I'm not even from Cali. Uh, there's so many high schools in Cali, so many divisions, all that, bro. California all over the place. Like, look at him, bro. He just like one of them effortless players, bro. Literally, most athletes, when you watch them play, they don't like, they're never like ever great at one position. Like, they're good at multiple, good pick. You feel me? He was kind of getting some separation. Like, the receiver's getting some separation from him. But uh, that, that ball was just under, under thrown. But uh, yeah, most athletes, you don't see, <laughs> look at buddy on the side. You don't ever see an athlete like really be really good at one position. They're just good at like a lot of different. Oh, he got a drip too? Should have put you in a game day drip video. I like the red and blue. Okay. Like, look at bro, bro. Like, you can tell he got good field vision, bro. Just to be able to sit there and not run fast and just still maneuver your way through these blocks and everything. Beat. He's beat. Oh, good catch. Good catch. Oh, good throw. That was a good throw right there. They was playing at uh, Sacramento State that game. Good throw. You feel me? Your quarterback low-key is throwing that drawn in there. You feel me? Okay. Number one is your quarterback. Let's see what he do right here. Yeah, your quarterback can low-key throw them down. Okay, all right, y'all. I don't know your quarterback's name, so I'm going to just... Call you say Elijah. I don't know what I'm talking about. Get you on this kick return. Oh yeah, that's easy. Come on, take that upfield. Yes, sir. Take that upfield. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Elijah Badger, Arizona State. Sun Devil. Yeah, bro. I don't know. I wonder where Arizona State is gonna use him at. He's got the prototypical size to be used at receiver. So I'm pretty sure that they'll probably try to uh, develop his game at receiver. That's the only thing about being an athlete too, um, is that sometimes you don't fully develop in each position because you're playing so many different positions. So a lot of times when you get to college, they'll take the time to really like, you know, get you, uh, what's it called? You know, like acclimated to play in one position, you know what I'm saying? Because if you really think about it, like, good, good, good play, bro, that's touchdown. If you really think about it, bro, at the D1 college level, like, there's not a lot of two-way players, bro. I know there's about to be this upcoming year, like Derek Stingley, bro. He said he's going to play a receiver and corner. 
But there's not many two ways. Oh my gosh, bro. He's hard to bring down to. 6'2, 195. Like, bro is definitely for sure got some good size. You feel me? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Stay up. Bitch strong. Yes, sir. Bitch strong. You feel me? Bitch strong, bro. I really hope, like, I know in Cali, football seasons is canceled pretty much. But I really hope, bro, man. Like stuff just I, I can't go without football. But yeah, bro, Elijah's definitely looking certified on the field, bro. Feel me? Nice little screen right there. Good block, uh, whoever that other receiver was. Way to get up field. I like how your lineman is down the field with you, bro. Those are some effort linemen, bro. I like linemen like that. We're gonna watch one more play, bro. Oh yeah, see this was at Sacramento State. Cause I know there's the Hornets, cause I was finna walk on to their team. I was finna try to walk on. Ugh. Oh, this is a good play to end up. Oh, I would have wished you scored, bro. All right, Elijah, I see you out there on the field. Yes, sir, and you get hype out. All right, y'all, now let's take a look at John Hicks, bro. Chowing University. Chowing. I don't know much about Chowing, but I know y'all be Chowing on some food. <laughs> Anyways, bro, no offense to Chowing University if you watch this. But, bro, it said on his film, bro, that he plays quarterback, nose guard, bro. Like, what school did you go to? I've never covered a 5-4 running back before. Oh my gosh. Yeah, he definitely scoring that. Ugh, and he didn't go down easy, bro. 5-4, 153. This is one of the shortest players I've ever covered, bro. Like, bro, that's crazy. And he still went D2, bro. He had to be a D2. What was Buddy doing? Oh my gosh, that's a touchdown, John Hicks. What did Buddy try to do here? I know, like, he probably, let me see if this is a linebacker, bro. Let me go back a little bit if I can. Bro, this thing always be playing with me, bro. My laptop be tripping. There's another touchdown right there, but I really wanted to go back to that other play, but it wouldn't let me, bro. Look at touchdown, bro. I like players that, okay, here's that play, bro. Here's that play again. Look at this, bro. It's like this linebacker just like, he just tries to hit him. Why'd you do that? Bro, why'd you do that? Brunswick High School, Virginia. I'm giving Virginia love, man. A lot of y'all been saying I ain't been giving Virginia love. Here we go at like a little H back. It kind of looks like the school that he played at was kind of like a like a smaller school, bro. I don't know much about Virginia, so y'all let me know about um, Brunswick, bro. I don't know. But it, it does look like a little bit of a smaller school. You can just kind of tell by what uh, where he's playing, you know what I'm saying? But he still made it D2, which is great, amazing. Direct snap. Oh yeah, bro. I wonder how like this challenge school is going to use you. Um, because honestly, bro, you being five four, it makes it so hard to tackle you. You got some speed too. Because y'all gotta think, bro. A player that's five four is already super low to the ground, bro. To make a tackle on him, you gotta get lower than him. And if he lowers his shoulder, like look at bro, that's crazy. Uh, if he lowers his shoulder, bro. Like, it's, it, it's very hard. He probably, like, almost 4 at 4 11, bro. It's hard. If he lowers his shoulder, that's crazy. Hey, buddy, hype. Your quarterback, number 17. I, I, I don't like, like, uh, I used to play running back when I was smaller, smaller, and Pop Warner. I used to hate when they made me put in, get in the three-point stance. I did not like that, bro. Uh, but your offense is definitely a, a confusing offense because it looks like y'all got that two-back system where y'all be, you can hand it to one dude or you got another option and everything like that. Oh, they, they zoomed in on the score on that too. Uh, but it's just crazy. That's why I love, like, other than, you know, me recording my journey back to football, bro, like, I love this channel to bring y'all exposure because... I guarantee not a lot of people know about the school or just John Hicks in, in, in general, bro. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate you for being patient, bro. Finally got around to doing this video. All right. Oh, way to stay up. Way to stay up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. John Hicks. John Hicks. Touchdown. Like John Wick, but he's John Hicks. He goes for the pick six to the touchdown, and he slick Rick. Bars. I don't know what I'm talking about. I got a lot of energy today, bro. I'm not that tired. I, I got some good rest in the day. Yes, sir. Ugh, he don't. Ugh, keep going in. This boy is 5'4. 
Five four, 153 pounds. He not supposed to be doing things like that, but he is, bro. If this is on Inspire, somebody watching right now, big tripping. I keep telling y'all, y'all y'all ask me all the time. You'll be like, oh, I'm only five, this and this and that. Does that mean I can go D1 or D2, whatever, bro? Yes. Yeah, I, but I can definitely tell that his level of competition that he was playing against, it doesn't look like it was the highest level. I'm just looking at, like, the other teams and stuff, not at, like, uh, John's players, but... You can definitely tell John got um, skill, but this is exactly what I was telling y'all, bro. It depends on what level of competition you're playing. Also, size and stuff like that matters, but he still made it D2. You know what I'm saying? So, I can't wait to see what you do at Challenge. Oh, yeah. Get it out to him. Uh. Uh. Come on, bro. Yeah, he got them little wheels to him, bro. I'm not going to lie. Yes, sir. That's easy touchdown. Ah, oh, that's easy. Ah, I thought he was going to squat that seat, buddy, right there. Yes, sir. Oh, I like how you slap in his face. Yes, sir. We're going to watch this last play right here. Yup, give me a. Come on. Bro, this boy is really 5'4". Like, I'm really watching him. We're going to watch one more play. I'm really watching. Here he has a linebacker. Look at him at linebacker, though. His team was using him everywhere, dog. We're going to watch one play. Bro! This dude is at nose guard. Bro, this is crazy. This last play, I, that was a crazy play right there, bro. All right, y'all. So y'all just seen how Elijah Badger stacks up against John Hicks, bro. Both of these players are definitely certified. They're definitely in the certified game, man. As you can see, Elijah Badger got the great size. Um, he looked like he played better competition than John Hicks. And Elijah just looks a little bit more developed on the field you feel me they kind of it's kind of hard to compare them because they're way different like players they got way different play styles like elijah's more of that long lanky receiver and john hicks is like you feel me your compact small running back and everything like that so it's just kind of hard to compare them but they both certified bro elijah i wish you the best at arizona state and john hicks i wish you the best at challenge university i really respect john hicks because he's showing y'all that size does not, you know, matter all the time, bro. He still made it Division Two, bro. He was still out there making plays at 5'4", 153. A lot of y'all either come on my lives on Instagram. By the way, follow me on Instagram. Hey, I'm this size. Like, what position should I play, bro? This boy was out here playing nose guard, bro. Nose guard. And that shows you, too, like, certain coaching stats, especially in high school, bro, they'll put you anywhere that you can make a play. If you that type of dog on the field where you can make a play in nose guard, go ahead. Go play nose guard. You know what I'm saying? I'm excited to see what they do at the next level, for sure, for sure. With that being said, that's the end of this video, man. D1 recruit versus D2 recruit. Let me know who I should cover next down below. Scout the channel. Follow me on IG. And yes, sir, this is more than football.